President Bakunin left for Iran for a short but historic trip to expand diplomatic and economic ties with Tehran. It's the first state visit to that country by a Korean president in more than half a century and comes at a time when Iran is emerging from its political and economic isolation following the lifting of sanctions on the country. Song ji who is traveling with the president, starts us off. President Park Geun-hye has become the first South Korean president to visit Iran as she arrived in Tehran Sunday afternoon. On Monday, President Park will start her day with summit talks with President Hassan Rouhani. Revving up economic cooperation will be the key. Diversifying trade items is among the goals, in addition to recovering their bilateral trade volume to the level before the international sanctions were imposed on Tehran. The two sides are likely to ink multiple deals that could help Korean companies take a greater part in Iran's infrastructure projects aimed at rebuilding its economy. President Buck and Rouhani will also agree on ways to expand cooperation in areas like health, culture and ICT, and discuss a range of regional and global issues including North Korea's nuclear threats. Following summit talks with Rouhani, President Bak will also sit down with Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, which could help set the bigger picture for relations between Seoul and Tehran. On Tuesday, President Bak will attend business events prepared to better help Korean entrepreneurs enter the Iranian market of 80 million people, in which Seoul has tagged the last blue ocean of the Middle East. <laughs> As is customary now, President Bak will also encourage Korean nationals living in Iran and attend a culture exchange event showcasing Korea and Iran's traditional assets before leaving Tehran on Tuesday. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.